Okay, hello everybody. I um, wanted to do a little uh, update, not so much just about the nice apartment that my friend Bobby just got, but it's in a secret location, but you could, you could see how nice it is. Bobby Johnson, who you've seen Bobby on a couple of my videos, I'll talk and then if they want to share, I got Jimmy today with me. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy D used to have an apartment with the, with the VA. The VA does a pretty good thing here in Oasis County. Well, Jimmy got one of the first apartments with that program, and you saw me do some videos in, over the years. Now, I found out today that both Bobby, who is a vet, and Jimmy, who's a vet, I'm also a veteran, they both got their apartments uh, yesterday at the same time in different places. But I was always hoping when Bobby got his apartment, I said, maybe we'll do a few little fellowships, a few little meetings, uh, and today is the first day that he got it. So it's very nice. Now, Bobby, what do you want to say anything about how you want to share any, how it worked out for you? God opened the doors. God bless y'all. Uh, like he said, my name is Bobby Johnston. And I went through some real dry spells, hard times. Got attacked homeless a few times. Was a little getting a little upset. You know, kind of wounded my faith a little. But the Lord, he is my Lord. The devil... Never be able to take that out of my heart. And uh, things, you know, just all of a sudden, things were going 180. Uh, they're coming back to me. It's like every day, some kind of a blessing's coming upon me, and I just thank the Lord for it. And if you're trouble going through hard times, just keep to the faith, man. The Lord's still the Lord. And things can turn around for you very quickly. This is, now Bobby's been homeless for quite some time. I've known Bobby from the streets. Is it, how long has it been since you had a, your own apartment, Bobby? How many years? Over two years. Okay. I had a car wreck that really hurt me. It cost me my job, which cost me. I sold my Harley, blah, 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 paid the bills that ran out. Boom, on the streets I've been. And it's been kind of rough out there. Is anybody out there that is on the streets listening to this? Keep the faith, man. Sooner or later, it'll come back to you. God bless you. And uh, Bobby has been working on, I, I would ask him, you know, every, it's been a few months he's been trying to get it, but I've been saying, how's it working out? And he was keeping in contact with the VA program that does the homeless thing here, or getting vets that are homeless apartments. And so it came through, and there were times I could tell that he thought maybe it wouldn't work out. And I was surprised because I've not seen Jimmy in a, it's probably a few months, and so today I ran into him also, and he got his place. Anything you want to say, Jim? Well, I just wanted to say that uh, if uh, similar to Bob, what Bobby said, it just when you're down, just stick to your plan and stay in focus, and just stay marching uh, towards your goals, and you'll make it. You know, it may not uh, come exactly when you want it to. But you will make it if it's within the Lord's plan. Yeah. Uh, it, it'll happen. Yeah. And that's all I did. Is I just kept uh, making the phone calls, letting them know that I'm interested, stay within the, uh, the hoops, the parameters of this program, and, and, it, and, it, and it came about. And uh, all my uh, charges have been dropped. <laughs> I asked Jimmy because those are things that the guys have to, some of them deal with, you know, uh, because of problems they have. And so today I asked Jimmy, I said, how did everything work out with the court case you had? Did, he said everything was dropped, everything was settled. I said, well, that's great. I said, because it's like he got a nice fresh start because he's got another apartment. I'm not going to tell you where Bobby's apartment is, but it is downtown Corpus Christi. And I told Bobby, I said, I'm glad you got it in this area because I used to work with Pops who lived just a few blocks. And that little halfway house I helped David Martin with, well, it was a few blocks from here, but when Pops passed away and uh, some, some of the people are not in this area, I had no real contacts right in this area of Corpus Christi, which is basically downtown Corpus Christi. So I felt like, because Bobby also wants to do ministry. Bobby's had a calling on his life. I've known Bobby for a while now. He used to come to the little Bible studies I was doing a few years ago. And so as we kind of move along in our lives that Bobby was just saying uh, the apartment's empty. It's a very nice apartment. You can see it. It's very nice. He says, and I don't need a lot of stuff, John. I'm just going to get the basics. And uh, 
I like that. You know, I like that mindset because we can get overloaded with things, and we don't need a lot of things, but the basics are important to have. And this could be, hopefully we'll do some little fellowships uh, right here, this nice little place that Bobby's got. And um, if God opens doors, there's a lot of little missions, a lot of little ministries in this area. If God opens doors, you know, we'll, you'll see some more uh, activity, you know, some more things here. Yes. Okay, any scripture at all? Does anybody, I taught yesterday at the park, uh, Claire brought up, uh, I, the reason I taught at the park yesterday, which is a okay. video you'll see before this, and the video, uh, I think I already yeah, titled it, um, God, God is the God of the living. That's the title of the video you're going to see before this one. But when I showed up at the park yesterday, Claire and Crow were asking me about the chapter in the Bible where they came to Jesus and said, is it right to pay taxes or not? And Jesus said, bring me a coin whose image is on the coin. And the image on the coin was Caesar. Well, I just read the chapter that night, and Claire and Crow were bringing it up on their own, and I said, you know, maybe I'll teach it today, just by sitting there. Re render to Caesar what is his, but pay yes. my father's time. Yes, Re give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but give to God what is God's. And so we kind of wind up having a little discussion on that, because... Uh, they were talking with uh, the pastor. I, I, I really, uh, I really yes. can identify with that particular. Um, oh, you uh, have concept. a story. Uh, yeah, I, I have a story about about paying your tithes. It can go both ways. Here, you can turn it just a little. Yes. Bit. There you go. Well, Anyways, I, I didn't want them to uh, really see too okay. much of your face. Okay. No, I'm uh, um, they. Uh, I, I one time I was uh, paying my tithes. And one time I could, uh, I, I didn't have enough to pay all my ties and pay for, uh, there was a motor that had gone out in my, in my car and I had some back taxes. And I, to, I was telling the Lord, I said, Lord, do you think it'd be okay if I just gave you $60, half of the taxes, half of the ties, and I could hear a voice saying, we can make that work. <laughs> That's okay, kid. We can make that work. Well, I didn't really understand it. It sounded fair, fairly vague. But the very next week, I got laid off. The following week, I went to an orientation at another job. Uh, four days later, I was back on the job. A week later, I got my paycheck. And the paycheck, instead of, I was making, the last check I had, I was making $25 an hour. And it was uh, uh, 1200 And my ties were were 120 And I gave 60 instead. Well, th when I heard the voice say, we can make this work out, the next job I had was $18 an hour, and the ties were exactly $60. The Lord made it work out. <laughs> It'll go the opposite direction if you don't watch out. <laughs> I, remember, I remember Jimmy telling me that story, uh, that it was the exact number. The exact know, number, percentage. but just the opposite direction. My pace, instead my fold didn't increase, it decreased. Yes. So you better watch out uh, and do as exactly as he says. Uh, it, it's it's not that the Lord needs your money; it's a sign of obedience. Yeah. And if you will do this, it's pretty clear what He says. The gift is the windows of heaven will open up upon thee. And I asked my mother about that one too because it sounds a little vague. She said that any uh, financial endeavor that you can come up with will blossom in a major way. That's what they're trying if, to tell you. If, if you, you pay your tax tithes. There's a verse in, I think it's Proverbs, but there's a verse that says, Honor the Lord with your substance and the first fruits of all of your increase, and God will bless you. I was just, I'm teaching actually the book of Acts on some of my mm -hmm. other videos, but I just did Acts chapter 2, which is Pentecost. But Pentecost was an old Jewish festival or Jewish feast mm -hmm. and it was referred to by three different names in the Bible but two of the names one is called harvest and the other is called first fruits mm -hmm. now it was sort of like an agricultural celebration of harvest and first fruits but that was the Acts 2 when the Holy Spirit was poured out into the church and so God fulfilled that natural feast in a spiritual way because the new church in Acts 2 when the Holy Spirit came to the church 
It says 3,000 were saved that day, added to yes, the church. Yes, I remember that. So that's like the first fruits of people coming into the kingdom, people we're, uh, that were believing. We're, we're, weren't, weren't everybody speaking different languages? Yes. And, and then all of a sudden, uh, the disciples were speaking their languages, yes. and they understood, Correct. and 3,000 were converted. Yep. Right there on the site, the day that the, they were all the Spirit was poured into the world. Yes. Yes. Bobby, you know about that. Look at Bobby's fixing the... Uh, you know, thing. it's funny that you should mention that one because... For Wait a, while, a minute, Jimmy. What? I thought this was Bobby's apartment, but it seems like... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Far we're going to also do... We're also going to do... I'm hoping... I probably will see Jimmy's apartment later. I won't do another talk, talk over there. I, 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 I liked this because I was believing for God to start opening doors for some of the guys. And um, this area where we're at... We want to, you know, sanctify sure, it, that sure. God would use it. Go ahead, Jimmy, keep talking. Well, tell me. Well, you, you uh, were something about eluded me for a long time. I used to tell the story about Peter uh, uh, when Jesus made him the first pope. When, uh, when uh, Jesus was, um, when he was, uh, when he paid the atonement, after he was brought down off the cross, after he was put into the, uh, his tomb, after he was resurrected, after he left the tomb. And was looking for the boys, and he found them in the in the cellar or, or up in an attic somewhere. They were hiding somewhere. Well, in the book of Acts, which I'm doing the I just did the first two chapters. They were in the upper room, but they were not necessarily hiding in the upper room. But there was a time after the crucifixion that they were actually sort of like in hiding because they were afraid. Well, well they yes, they, they were. They were. There were. There was a. There was money on their heads. There was rewards for them, and they uh, they had, felt like they were going to be next. Right? After yes, they all, had they, been in. De uh, they, they got been, the leader, and right. now they're going to come after now, them. Now the Romans were going to come after them, and so they were really worried, and they were hiding. And the Lord ascended; He just appeared, and the first thing He did was call on uh, 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 what was his name, uh, Doubt and Thomas, and Doubt and Thomas. You know who brought this up the other day? Oh. Melissa. Now Melissa is a mutual friend. And I met oh, Melissa at the time. And today I had a good talk with Melissa at Timmins. And she, God is working with Melissa. And a lot of the people have. But she brought that up about a month ago at Timmins. She said, you know, John, I watched the whole uh, Bible story the other night at the TV at her daughter's house. And she said, and you know what stuck with me? I think it was just on the Gospel of John. But she said, the story about Thomas, which is Doubting Thomas, comes from John's Gospel. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus, after the resurrection, appeared the first Sunday to the disciples, he Thomas, Thomas was not there. He missed the first meeting that Jesus had with oh, the disciples. Okay. Now, because he was not there, that kind of set him up. Because they said to Thomas, the Lord came, the Lord appeared to us. He said, unless I see the wounds in his body, unless I put my hand... <laughs> okay, that's yes. how he gets down to Thomas. Now, Jesus appears the next time to them, and he says to Thomas, Thomas, Come here. reach forth, go ahead. And Thomas says, my Lord and my God. And then Jesus said, now Melissa brought this up. She said, it stuck with her. Jesus said, uh, you believe because you have seen, but blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. Right. And so she said, "Isn't that something, John?" Well, that's what we I, are that's my more point. blessed. Yes, because. exactly. That is that's what I try to tell people. That's exactly what I tell people. I said I I tried to tell them because I had forgotten it, and my mother had reminded me because I couldn't remember why um, all the disciples had forsaken Jesus, and I remember the the the, 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 the Last Supper and how he described every situation that was going to happen. He told me, you're, you're going to forsake me two times before the cock crows. He told them all these things that was going to happen, and they, that they were going to, they weren't going to do the right thing. And he said, oh man, and this was a setup again, because if you read the story, Jesus told the disciples this. He says, what's going to happen to him? And then he says, you all are going to forsake me. All right? He told that to all of them, you guys are going to be offended of what's going to happen, meaning he's going to get crucified, they're going to get crucified. Right. Then Peter opens his big mouth. And says, no, and no. says, oh, even if these others uh, forsake you, not me. me. Then Jesus. he gets, oh, you watch what's going to happen. Uh, Before the cock crow, you'll deny me three times. Right. So it's because he had that feeling he was better than the others. Oh, they might. This crew might forsake you, but never me. 
then well, you get the extra test, Peter, because you're going to do it in a the way that's going to be recorded, you know, this we yeah. know now, and you're going to be famous well, for it. Well, the thing that got me was that is that is that, and my mother had to remind me this that Jesus told them before he ascended again, before he left again, before he ascended, and he yes. said, he said. Wait for the Spirit. Oh, I just taught this. He said, wait, wait for the Spirit. Now see, that is the very thing, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit that we have today, that gift we have. Yes. The disciples did not have it. That's what Until made it. Pentecost. Right, and that's what made Pentecost it even hard for them to, to bear witness to his, uh, his ministry. You know, as he did those, that three years and did all those miracles, even that was hard for them to, to believe. Correct. It's easier for us to believe Without the miracles, because, we, because have the we have the Spirit. Now, Jesus, when he told them in John's Gospel, he says, it is expedient for you, meaning necessary, that I go away. Because, meaning he had to be crucified, go through the sure. uh, all that happened, and then even ascend. He said, because if I do not go away, the Comforter or the Spirit will not come. But if I go away, I will send the Spirit, the promise of the Father, which I taught recently, he says, and he will show you all things. He will bring all things to your remembrance, exactly. whatever I've told you. So the ministry of the Holy Spirit began opening up all of the understanding that they just could not get at the And, and that is the very point when I make that pe to people, when they say, people in my constituents say to me, Jim, if I could just see Jesus, if he would just come down here and create a few miracles for me, it would make it so much easier for me to believe. Then I remind them, we have the Holy Ghost. We have the gift of the Spirit. The disciples didn't have that. They saw all of those things and still they yes. forsake Jesus. Yeah. See, you you got to ask yourself, if you was there, want... would you be able to let a living God be sacrificed? Of course not. Of course not. No, 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 we, we wouldn't let that happen. I want Bobby to say something. I want Bobby to be used in his new apartment that the Lord blessed him with. I this is just a little scripture of hope for all you that are struggling. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. That's Romans fifteen thirteen. Amen. He that's is God. Good. That's good. Father, uh, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Let look. I know you've Go heard ahead, me Jim. say. Well, say. I know that you've heard me say this before. I've said this before on your on your on your show here a couple of times. Bobby, this is. Are you allowed to smoke in your apartment or not? Yeah, but I didn't want to leave ashtray or ashtray or anything. I just wanted to clean up. They just told me I got a apartment. Okay. That's why. Because David going Martin, out. you're not allowed to smoke. We're in not allowed to smoke in mine either. Okay. We got to go outside out on the porch, and there's no back door either. So. I'm going to see, if the, we'll see your apartment this afternoon probably, Jim, sure. when we head back, and hopefully um, we'll do some meetings over there. I'm being called, I'm being called back out to Agua Dulce. Uh They're dying. They really you are. Some, uh, don't mention names, because I don't want to put too many names on there. Okay. I'm going to end it. I just, what I wanted to do is just this little, like, christening, if you will, because uh, we believe that God's going to use all of, everybody's got callings, okay? And so uh, now that Bobby's got this, he's been waiting for a while. He's been working on it, and God opened up the door. And uh, I want Bobby to pray. I'd like to say, excuse me, a closing prayer for all y'all in needs of hope and health. You know, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, believe the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But you know, you don't have to be in trouble you may have riches and um, all kinds that think you got it going great. If you like me, fall on your fanny real quick. If you don't obey the Lord, I mean, even the richest, mightiest man in the world needs the Lord Jesus Christ. So when he perishes from this life, he will be damned to eternity. Believe upon him and you live with him for eternity. And you'll have a mansion waiting for you in heaven. That kept me going a lot, just thinking... I ain't homeless. I got a match. I just got there yet. Amen. Anyway, God bless y'all. Okay. We're going to end with that. God bless everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay.